Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the self-reinforcing stomach fat cycle. And we're going to discuss not only what it is, but why it's so dangerous. All right, so we're going to flash a pickup here on the screen for you. And this is actually from a journal publication on some research done on growth hormone and fat loss. And we'll leave a link in the video description for you to check it out, okay? But uh, as we look at this, this is what researchers have coined as the self-reinforcing cycle of increased visceral fat and reduced GH, which stands for growth hormone, in states of abdominal obesity. In layman's terms, you can just call it the stomach fat cycle, right? It's found in the study called Effects of Growth Hormone Releasing Hormone on Visceral Fat, Metabolic and Cardiovascular Indices in Human Studies. Yeah, long title. So again, we'll leave a link to this study in the description below. But here is why that's important to you. In the study, researchers discovered that, and I quote, increased visceral adipose tissue, VAT, in other words, stomach fat, is associated with reductions in endogenous GH, growth hormone, secretion, possibly as a result of hyperinsulinemia, increased circulating free fatty acid, increased somata, statin tone, and reduced ghrelin. So what that essentially means for you is that excess stomach fat, one, decreases your fat-burning youth hormone, your growth hormone, which two, decreases your body's hormone-stimulated lipolysis. And lipolysis is just a fancy term for fat-burning. Number three, it increases the amount of sugar in your bloodstream, which in turn increases the amount of insulin your pancreas releases. And that leads to number four. That means there are increases in the amount of free fatty acids, all of which are symptomatic of type 2 diabetes. And number five, that increases your hunger hormone, ghrelin, which then increases your hunger or your appetite, all right? Unfortunately, it gets even worse because stomach fat begets or creates more stomach fat. In other words, the more stomach fat you currently have, the more stomach fat you're gonna get or have in the future, right? It's a never ending vicious cycle, which is why the researchers called it self-reinforcing. All of which, as you can see, increases three things. One, dyslipidemia, which is high cholesterol, high triglycerides, et cetera. Number two, inflammation, specifically of your arteries, which creates stiffness, which can lead to ruptures of those arteries, right? Which not only can cause heart attacks, but strokes. And uh, also there's what's called general inflammation or, or systemic inflammation, which is stiffness and soreness of your joints, all right? So it's number two. Number three, obviously we alluded to it in the last two, but uh, we're just going to state it as a matter of fact, and that's cardiovascular disease risk. So risk of dying younger than necessary from heart disease, you know, heart, heart attack or stroke. However, you know, there is some good news and that's the following. If you found yourself with unnecessary stomach fat, you can actually reverse this, even escape this nasty stomach fat reinforcing or self-reinforcing cycle starting today and start feeling great again, right? Here's how you are going to combine what I call the four switches, right? Now, these are the four switches that you can use, which have been proven in the scientific literature to increase your body's natural production of growth hormone, which then decreases your stomach fat, your VAT, right? The visceral fat that uh, this study is talking about. So switch number one is sleep. Switch number two is fasting. Switch number three is supportive nutrition. And switch number four is strategic exercise. So let's take a short but closer look at each one of these, okay? So switch number one is sleep, right? Now sleep, as you know, is when your body recovers, or maybe you didn't know that, right? It's not when you go to the gym. It's when you're not in the gym. It's when you're sleeping that you get the gains, bruh, so to speak, from your workouts, all right? Most of your body's growth hormone, or GH, is released during a good night's sleep. So make sure you're getting at least seven plus hours of restful sleep, preferably in a dark, cool room with the electronics turned off so the EMF, right, the electromagnetic frequencies, does not interfere with brain function and therefore recovery. Okay, number two, switch number two is fasting. Fasting is another simple way to create growth hormone so you can reduce your stomach fat, okay? And uh, let me just tell you what fasting is. It is not eating. So that means you're abstaining from food or liquids that have calories in them or liquids that produce a response 
from your brain to think that it's actually eating. Okay. So really the thing you get to eat is water or the thing you get to drink is water and nothing else. That is what true fasting is. So uh, my wife and I were talking about juice fasts the other day, juice fasts are not fast. Okay. <laughs> because fasting by definition is not eating or drinking anything that has nutrition or calories in it. Okay. So I just, just so we're clear here. All right. So there are, are more than a few studies out there that demonstrate an increase in growth hormone from fasting or, or during fasting, I should say. Right. One study, and I, again, I'll leave links to these in the description below, showed a 1,250% increase in growth hormone after a week of fasting. Now, I'm not suggesting you take seven days and don't eat. I'm just giving you some stats, okay, about how much growth hormone is released in response to fasting, right? Another study showed a five-fold increase in growth hormone release after a two-day fast. So that's a little better, okay? And yet another study showed a 2,000% increase, okay? And I'm that's not a, I'm not misspeaking there, 2,000%, okay, in certain men after a 24-hour fast. So again, fasting, not eating, not drinking any liquids that have calories in it, pretty simple. So the point here is to actually do it. Just get started with the fasting. The easiest way to do it is start with a 24 hour fast and take it from there. Okay. So switch number three is what I call supportive nutrition. And it's a way of eating that balances your body's hormones. Okay. So that it uses sugar when it's supposed to and uses fat when it's supposed to, so that you are lean and muscular and healthy and strong. And this means you make it easier for your body to release growth hormone. So it's well known that insulin inhibits the release of growth hormone and insulin is released every time you eat. But more is released, more insulin is released when you eat refined carbohydrates. So breads, cookies, that sort of thing, and sugary food, foods, right? Sweets, those sorts of things. Then when you eat lean cuts of meat, vegetables, and fats, okay? So cut back on the former, increase the latter. Switch number four, our final switch, is what I call strategic exercise. And what that simply means is there are different forms of exercises that stimulate different hormonal responses from your body. Okay. So there's actually a right type of exercise, if you will, that naturally increases your body's growth hormone levels. In other words, your body releases growth hormone in response to this particular type of exercise. And that type of exercise is exercise that puts you mildly into your glycolytic energy pathway, right? And makes your body produce lactic acid. Now, notice I said mildly. So that I'm, what I'm not talking is two minutes all out as hard as you can. That's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. There are very specific protocols we follow here. And that's because growth hormone is released in the presence or as a result of lactic acid accumulation, all right? So is testosterone, which is another stomach fat burner, very powerful stomach fat burner, but we'll save that for another time, okay? Kettlebells actually are perfect for this type of training, especially the ballistics, the swings, the cleans, the snatches, push presses, and jerks, the explosive lifts, okay? All right, so the simplest way to use your kettlebells to produce growth hormone, so you can reverse the stomach fat cycle, right? Well, I'm not gonna leave you hanging, but I will leave you a link in the description below to a workout program that will do just that for you if you're interested, okay? And if you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with somebody who is trapped, for lack of a better term, in the stomach fat cycle as well, okay? Until next time, my friend, stay strong.